Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes mention of something that happened to the Prophet Jesus, may peace be upon him. The people began to get fed up of him because he was taking away their popularity. Those who were supposedly religious, those who had followers, their followers were now slowly talking about this messenger who came with this miracle, that miracle. He was the talk of the town. That created jealousy in the hearts of some of these people who had rejected him. So they hatched a plan. What was the plan? They went to the king of the time. And they told him, There is a man called Jesus of Bethlehem. This Jesus, Isa alayhi salam, he is saying this and saying that, and his eyes are on your kingdom. He wants your seat. In fact, he is going around saying he is the king. Now this is blasphemy. This is incorrect, lies, jealousy, a plan and a ploy. This king without finding anything out, nothing at all. He decides we can sort him out by doing what? Send our men look for him. Now I have not made mention of all the difficulties suffered by Jesus. We have not gone into those details where the people made him suffer, but he was calm. He was very, very calm, very forgiving. He never wanted to revenge anybody. No one, not at all. He just continued with his work and he was always positive, not negative. And every time there was an opportunity to call people towards the Almighty, he used it. And he was very patient and calm. And they began to say, oh, this is what a wonderful man and so on. But the others who were disbelieving, they fell to this plot. So when the people came, they wanted to know, where is Jesus? He was nowhere to be found. Where is he? We want to know. Now, the disciples knew where he was. And I'm mentioning to you one narration. The disciples knew where he was. There was one of the disciples. The name given is Judas Iscariot. Allah knows best who exactly he was, but one of the disciples. And he decided to become a traitor. In fact, shaitan overtook him. The devil overtook him and he led the men of this king and the Jewish people who were behind wanting to murder Jesus, may peace be upon him, to the room where he was. And there was a little window. So as this one man goes in to confirm that Jesus is in the room, who was he? He was the disciple. They sent him in, you go and confirm that he is in the room. They, this man goes into the room and he is now a traitor. Yet he's supposed to be a disciple. He goes into the room and he is asking Isa alayhi salam. He's just confirming that he's there. And at that moment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala changed the face of Judas. So it became the face of Jesus. And Allah took Jesus away through that window, gone up into the heavens in the proper form of the human being that he was. Taken up, ascension of Jesus. This is the Islamic version of the Quran. He was taken up completely well before anybody could harm him. Allah says at the beginning, Wassalamu alayya. Peace be upon me, they won't harm me at all. Nothing. So Jesus Christ, may peace be upon him, was not harmed at all, nothing. He was taken up and the face of this traitor was made to be the face of Jesus. So now he was taking long to come out. A little while later he comes out, these people are looking. They see Jesus, they go and hold him. He says, hey, I am Judas, no ways. So if you are Judas, where is Jesus? And if you are Jesus, where is Judas? They went back in. So they didn't know. They were also a little bit confused. But facially, they knew this is Jesus. And this man is continuing to say, I am not Jesus. I am Judas. They took him. They put a huge cross for him. They nailed him into the cross. And according to one narration, they, they took a crown of thorns as a means of disgrace for him. And they placed it on his head. And they were happy telling everyone we have crucified Jesus. But Allah knows Jesus was taken well before anybody could harm him. Subhanallah.